Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to fix the unavailable desktop landing page error in Google Merchant Center Next. You're getting this error because there's an issue with your product URL. This can stop your products from showing in Google Shopping and free listings, which means no sales and no profits for these products. There are many reasons why you might get this error. Sometimes it's because your product page or your landing page are just not working. Sometimes it's because Google wasn't able to effectively crawl your page, which resulted in an error. Sometimes it can be that there's an issue with your DNS settings. Let's fix it right now. First, head over to merchants.google.com and log in to your Google Merchant Center account. Okay, let's now fix this error. On the left-hand menu, click on products and then click on needs attention. Here, you'll see all your disapprovals and warnings. Okay, so we can see the error here, unable to view store on desktop and unable to view store on mobile. We'll filter the products to show only those with these two errors. To get your product approved first, we need to check the landing pages of the affected products on your website. Click on one of the affected products. Now that we are on the product details page, click on the link of the product and let's check what the issue is with it. We can see in this case that this link has an error. In our case, this happened because we're not selling this product anymore. So we don't want to advertise this product. To stop this product from being shown in our ads, go back to your product details in Google Merchant Center. In the top right corner, under visibility, uncheck show on Google once approved. Now, maybe you do want to advertise your product. In this case, you need to find out why your product page is not live. It might be because your product is set to draft. To fix this, just go back to your product details in your online store and make sure it's set to published or in our case, to active. If the product is out of stock and you've set it to hide when unavailable, the page won't show up. You can update the stock quantity or change the settings to display out of stock products so it stays visible. It might be due to conflicts with your theme or plugins. Start by disabling each plugin one at a time to see if one of them is causing the problem. If that doesn't do the trick, try switching to a default theme to see if the theme is the issue. This will help you pinpoint and fix whatever's blocking your page from going live. If you're seeing a 401 error, it means the page can't be found. This usually happens if the product was deleted or accidentally set to draft mode. Now, if you're getting a 301 or a 302 redirect error, it means your page is sending users to a different page and Google wants to go straight to your product page without any turns. So make sure to fix or remove any unnecessary redirects and update your links to point directly to your product page. This will help keep everything running smooth and make sure your pages are live and accessible. Okay, sometimes your page is working, but the issue is with Google's ability to access your landing page. To fix this, we need to make sure that Google can crawl your products. Go to Google and type site colon, followed by your website's URL into the search bar. If your pages show up in the search results, Google has crawled and indexed them. If they don't, Google might be having trouble crawling your pages. To figure out what's going on, check your robots.txt file. This file tells Google which parts of your site it can or cannot crawl. Copy and paste the URL of the landing page into the address bar and add slash robots.txt at the end before pressing enter. You should then be able to see your robots.txt file here. If you don't, you need to make sure to create it. I'll leave a link down below to a video on how to do this for your Shopify store. Next, let's check if AdSpot can access your site. AdSpot Google checks if the pages your ads point to are good enough for people to click on them. In the robots.txt file, look for user agent AdSpot Google. To easily find the AdSpot in this file, press Ctrl F on PC or Command F on Mac. We've put together a step-by-step -step guide on checking your robots.txt file. Check the link in the description to access it and copy any needed information. Going back to the file, make sure there isn't a line that says disallow right after it. This would block AdSpot from accessing the entire site. If you don't see the relevant user agent or the page is blank, AdSpot may not be properly configured to access your site. In this case, contact your online store platform support for help or consult a developer, as fixing robots.txt issues often requires coding. Now, let's make sure your website is running smoothly on both desktop and mobile. To start, we need to make sure that your web server is up and running. A great tool for this is down for everybody or just me. Let's test a product URL by pasting it here. As you can see, our site is working perfectly. If your site is down and is specifically giving an error, 500 internal server error, don't worry, here's a simple guide to fix it. Make sure you're connected to the internet. 
try visiting other websites to see if they load. Log in to your domain registrar's website like GoDaddy or Namecheap and check that your domain hasn't expired. If it has, follow their process to renew it. Next, your landing page should load quickly to avoid issues with Google. There are multiple tools online to check your page speed, such as GT Metrics and Google Speed Insights. Head over to Google Page Speed Insights and test your product page URL. It'll give you a full report on your page speed for both mobile and desktop. Keep in mind, Google suggests aiming for a load time under 2.5 seconds for the best user experience. Now, use experte.com to see if your website is optimized for mobile. All your pages and check if they're mobile friendly. We've got the links to these tools below the video, so make sure to check them out. Another important step is to ensure your landing page doesn't have any pop-ups or require a login to view product details. These issues could lead to your product being disapproved. Once you've fixed your website URLs, head back to your product details, click on Needs Attention and choose Request Website Check. If everything is fixed, your products should get approved within 12 to 48 hours after Google recrawls them. If you want to speed things up, you can reach out to Google support and ask them to recrawl your product page. We've got a video linked down below that walks you through the steps to contact Google support. Be sure to check it out. And that's it. You've just fixed the disapproval and updated your product. Make sure to check out our other videos. This one here might be especially useful for you.